I will tell the world a little yeah. bit of free game. Right. My my view of an indicator of whether a girl's good or not. Oh yeah, go for it. I'll get, this is from free game. I The woman has the power the whole way through the dating, right? Until you sleep with her, she has the power because she's in charge because you she's the prize, you want her. A lot of men say I'm the prize, but most of those who say that dumb shit ain't the prize for nothing. They're nerds. <laughs> They're nerds, right? So she has the power, she's the gatekeeper. The first time that power dynamic changes is after you sleep together. Because now, if she doesn't keep you in a relationship, she's just a one night stand or a Sure. You first sleep with her. Most men first sleep with a chick and they continue to chase her and they throw away their power. They get power and it never crosses their mind. They throw it away. She stays in charge. What I have learned in my experience is if you're dating a girl that she's in charge and you sleep together on the first night and after you sleep together, don't ignore her. Don't be a dickhead, but just kind of reduce your attention by 65%. Just mm -hmm. like cut it back down. I'll sleep with mm -hmm. you now, boo. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You? Shorter replies, more delays, et cetera. Yes. And here's, how, here's what you learn. A good woman will then up her game and try harder to keep you because she doesn't want to just go sleep with some other guy because she slept with a guy. It's a big deal for her. She has a pure heart. She'll try for you. If you cut your attention down on a bitch and she just goes, well, fuck it, I'll go fuck someone else yeah. or I'll just go on a boat in Miami next party today, or she stops replying, then she did she you a favor. She did you well, a favor so, too. Then. Yeah. yeah. So but the how, easiest way to tell if a girl's good or not is after the first time you sleep with her to see her involvement in the relationship post that day. Most men never do this test on a bitch. They never do it. So this is why they keep getting stung by fucking girls who ain't worth it. I can tell if a girl's worth something or not. And that's a very easy, there's a few other things, but I'll give that one for free. It's a very easy mm -hmm. way because a good woman ain't going to sleep with a guy and then just go, oh, he didn't text me very much. Fuck, I'll just go get a new dick. Those are, those are the ones you want to avoid. And then avoid. it fucks with them too because they're like, wait, did he not like it? Like, if well, that's a good woman will try yeah. a little bit. Yeah. It's the first time they'll be the one chasing you if you do it right. And then you can tell if you have a good one. If they do chase you after that, you have a good one. If they don't chase you after that, you'll be glad you didn't keep her anyway. <laughs> what are the biggest red flags when it comes to a woman? Like when you first, when you first mean you're trying to talk to her, what are the biggest red flags that pop up? You're like, okay, this is something I got to look out for as far as like yeah. you personally. That's the only thing I'll truly judge a woman on because I think that's a very good test of character because if a woman destroys the stigma of just sleeping with a new man, as soon as she's semi unhappy with the current scenario involving you, then you don't want to be in a relationship with that woman. Biggest red flag. Right? That's the biggest red flag. Yeah. But like if you're dating a girl, I think I've said this stuff before. I don't like girls who are over sociable. I don't like girls who know lots of people. I don't like girls who are always out. I don't yeah. like girls who. <laughs> You've said that. Before. You said, said that on the last one. I said it in the last one. Like if, if I meet a girl and she's like, yeah, and I go here and I know this guy and then the manager of this place invites me here. And then on Thursday I got this and her whole schedule is just full all the time. It's just to me, that's the biggest red flag because girls like that always end up just knowing too many people and getting dragged in too many directions, too many people in their ear, too many guys getting attempt, too many people get a pop at the champ. It's just, it's just long. This one I like, I like girls when you say, what are you doing? I don't know. Nothing. Like that's the one. This one's that's crazy. The one. Nothing. You're doing nothing you gotta, next three weeks. That's who I want. Those girls are like, I'm, I'm going Cancun. Like, oh, this one's crazy. I don't know. You fly a girl out yeah. that you've been talking to. You spend a bunch of money on her. Take her shopping, but she doesn't smash. I don't think I'd take her shopping. Um, if I flew a girl out and, and we didn't get along and she decided not to, to sleep with me, then that's absolutely not really perfectly fine in every regard. Well, I would never want to sleep with a woman who didn't want to sleep with me. I think that's extremely bad energy. That's why I've never in my life paid for sex ever. Wow. I don't like the energy exchange of a girl who genuinely isn't into me. I think that's bad karma. It's bad juju. So I, if a girl, if I were to meet a girl and I were to fly her out and she'd go, I'm just not into you sexually, I'd be like, good. I don't want to get mixed up in that kind of negative energy exchange. Had you always been that way or is that? I think I've always pretty much been that way. I think the gratification of sleeping with a woman is not just about numbers and is stupid. The gratification is that she genuinely cares about you and loves you. I think that the love between two people is a powerful energy. I think that women, when they love you, can care for you and genuinely protect your spirit. Yeah. I've had experiences in my life. I'll tell you this, man. I've had times where girls who truly love me with all their heart will do anything for me. I've woken up and all three of them, different ones, all text me on the same day. I had a bad dream about you. Something bad's going to happen. And that day, something bad happens. Oh, yeah. If a woman truly, truly loves you and truly cares about you, they have a, a degree of power and protection that's important. I don't want to mess with or be around a woman who's not infatuated with me. Sure. Any woman who I'm going to be with, I'm going to be her at the center of her world. If I don't answer, she's panicking. If something bad happens to me, she's like, if I go to jail, she'll be there. I'm not going to be with some. She's like, yeah, he's cool. Hmm. But is I, that I, don't, you, I think that's just negative. I'm not, I don't want to do you that. Or her? Every woman, every woman who's around me, I am the center of her universe. Is that you that makes her like that or is that her naturally? Uh, I feel... Well, that's a good question. Obviously, I'm me. Yes. I'm me. But I think that if a woman truly understands in many different areas that they can hand their life into your hands and you can take care of them, including financially in every single way, yeah. then you're going to be the center of the universe. You're their everything, right? Sure. If you were to disappear one day, their whole world would collapse. Their social circle would collapse. Their finances would collapse. Their worldview would collapse. Their protection would collapse. The places they go, where they're staying, everything would just collapse. You're the center of their world. 
that's the kind of girl I want to be associated with. If I was with a girl, just like she had her own life and I had my own life and we kind of linked up, that's not my thing. I'm not interested. In but you talked about the energy, right? The yep. energy in relationship to a woman and you dating her yep. and her being in your life. And yep. you talked about if you're genuinely in it and you want her to genuinely be in it because of that like good energy. Yep. You're saying that equally as if there's, you're just like kind of frivolously having sex with women and just having sex to have sex and maybe she's here, but you're not actually building any sort of bond that, that also that builds like a certain sense of negative energy in your life? Well, a life is an energy exchange. Yeah. If you look at a fight, right? You have to make sure the energy you spend punching him does more damage or takes away more energy than you've expended. If you, that's, why, that's why missing is a big problem. If you miss all the time and you've wasted energy with no net gain, right? So life's an energy exchange. This is how it works. If you're out here just bitches who don't care about you, you are wasting enormous energy. And let's, yeah. talk, let's talk about this in length, right? We can talk about it first financially. You're going out, you're spending money, you're taking her out, taking her dinner, you're spending money. That's the first thing. But the second thing is a lot of men, especially if they're insecure, really feel like they get a victory if they fuck a girl. And at a certain status of man, that disappears. And I'm going to state this once again without arrogance. I go out to Dubai now. I pick up a girl in the club. I come back here. I fuck her. She doesn't care about me. I don't care about her. Hey, I fuck this hot girl. I've got a $5.2 million Bugatti. We're coming back to a $48 million mansion on the palm. I'm the richest guy in the fucking club. I'm top G, whatever, whatever. I sleep with her. Why? I put all the energy in yeah, all why? night, smashing her right. She yeah. just lays there chilling. That's the best night of her life. And I'm going to go there. Did I, <laughs> did I win? You know, I didn't, she you fucking won. gave that shit up. I just gave it all up. Yeah, she what? used to talk about riding in the Bugatti. She has a picture on the Instagram of my, in the Bugatti chair. She's here walking around doing Instagram stories here, pissing yeah. off her ex in my house. She Yo. gets slam right. She doesn't do nothing for me. Nothing. The only thing a woman can give me back at my status uh, in life is absolute cold. devotion to protect my spirit. I need a woman who loves me completely and utterly. I don't expect her to have financial incentive to look after me. I don't expect her to be physically capable of doing, dealing with my problems. I don't expect her to be even, my problems are very complex. I don't expect her to be sitting there on a computer trying to work them out. I expect her to sit there and go, I love you so much. I'm just worried about you and I just care about you. Everything's about love. You. That, it's all about love. What yeah. if, now, what, that's what I want because that's a fair exchange. I can take a woman uh, all around the world, spend a bunch of money on her. I can be top G, spend all this money, give her a life she could never see. If she truly, if I am truly the center of her, her universe, she is giving me value back. And that's why I'm not going to go out here and fuck bitches who barely care about me or just for moose in a club for a one night because she's winning. I'm just, it's like throwing money down the drain.